I do believe that little things can make the biggest difference. It's because no matter how big or small, it always impacts something or someone. I go by the rule one person can change the world. Yeah, little things can make a real big difference. Smoking, for example, it gets something little and everything to quit, but like it's something big, you could like avoid, like avoid getting cancer or something. Like even the slightest difference can make a big difference in the long run. Like choosing to hang out with certain people, choosing who your friends are and and like what you're gonna do, how you're gonna do in school, all make a difference like on um, in the long yeah, run. It's all in the butterfly effect, right? One little small action can change everything. Like you could do something small but like people could just like keep doing it and then it, it like makes it a big thing because if one person helps out another person it can actually help out a lot more people because they'll see that there is actually kind, kind people out there who actually help them out through difficult situations. Do something nice for somebody they can remember it. You know walking someone across the street who needs help you know that can make a big difference in their life or just like a little card to wish someone a happy birthday. Every choice we make in like everyday life affects us in like ways we can't imagine. Say someone's being bullied and one person says just stop it like that could definitely make a big difference. Sometimes you think that helping out somebody will not make a difference in the world, but it might make a difference in their life. The naturalist Lauren Isley wrote a story called The Star Thrower, which told the story of a boy who was throwing starfish back into the sea. It goes like this. Many starfish washed up on shore. A young boy started picking them up and throwing them back into the ocean. Someone saw what he was doing and told him that it was pointless, that there were too many to save, and that it wouldn't make a difference. As he threw another starfish into the sea, the little boy responded, it makes a difference to this one. That's a great story that really illustrates how little things can make a big difference. That's what we'll be talking about today, ripples in the water. Little things make a big difference. Hi everyone, I'm Matt. And I'm Kira. And, and this, this is, is Real Faith, Faith TV. TV. Did you ever throw a pebble into a lake or a pond and see the ripple effect it makes in the water? It was such a small stone, yet it made a great impact on the water. Just like the pebble, we can make a big impact on the people and in the world around us. Many of the teens on the street agreed with this idea that the little things can make a big difference. We'll hear from them more a little later in the show, as well as meet our studio guests. But first, let's meet our spotlight guest, Miss North Carolina National U.S. 2009, Marie Ventrone. Next, she will tell us how every one of us has the ability to mean the world to someone else. I think that everyone is unique in their own way, and everyone's their own individual in this big world, but at the same time, everyone has the ability to mean the world to someone else. And I think that's why little things can make a big difference. A smile when you walk by someone, because you never know who really needs it that day. One of my favorite experiences was when I worked with Children's Specialized Hospital. I volunteered there and we used to paint the windows depending on the season. We would paint cartoon characters like Blue's Clues and Fairly Odd Parents. And if it was fall, we'd do fall leaves or springtime, we'd do lots of flowers. Uh, we'd do Christmas trees and Santa hats in the winter. And the kids really loved it because they don't get a lot of outside contact. And it was great to interact with them and to see how they appreciated what we were doing for them. It was wonderful. There are so many opportunities to touch people's lives, whether it's buying a glass of lemonade or a necklace, because there are so many organizations. For instance, Alex's Lemonade Stand, which raises money for pediatric cancer research, or Beads of Hope in Africa, where the, the women in need there don't have an income, will make necklaces. And even just by purchasing jewelry, you're helping someone out by helping them support themselves. Love one another as I have loved you. That's what Jesus says. And I think it's really important to show your love to strangers as well, because Mitch Album in his book, The Five People You Meet in Heaven, has a quote that says something along the lines of, strangers are only family we've yet to come to know. And I think that just by showing random acts of kindness to strangers, it's really fulfilling, whether it's volunteering or just walking down the road and helping someone who dropped their things. I definitely agree with what she was saying because when I got knee surgery um, last fall, my friends took time out of their busy days to come see me and just say like, hey, how are you? And I was like laying on the couch and I couldn't move. But just them coming to see me and just say, hey, and just sit with me and talk to me like while everyone else in my house was running errands or doing whatever, it was just a really 
nice but little thing that they did for me. Yeah, it's so sweet. So let's see how our studio guests feel about this. Okay, they are Ijama, Bridget, Kelly, Andrew, Chris, Julianne, and Vince. So do you guys believe that a little thing can make a big difference? I believe so. I think even a smile can change a whole person's day. Even a hug can change the person's mood. Yeah, definitely. The most insignificant thing to you might be something huge to somebody else. Yeah, even like a text message to someone, you know, just saying, how are you, that could brighten someone's day. Or like holding a door for someone on their way out. Just in general, being polite. It surprises people sometimes when you're polite, just saying please and thank you, but it does really help. Especially since you never know who really needs it at that moment. Because if you do like a random act of kindness to someone, it could really make someone's whole day a lot better. Yeah, and I really like the thing about the smile, because you don't know if that person can ha be having a bad day and your smile can cheer them up, and then maybe they'll be smiling to someone else, you know? So what's the nicest thing someone has ever done for you? Every day we have the opportunity to make a difference in someone's life, but do we take it? Each of us can do something to ease another's burden or brighten their day. And it doesn't even have to be a big thing. Next, the teens on the street tell us about something little that someone did for them, which made a big difference. What are some little things that someone has done for you that has made a big difference for you? They gave me advice before and I've taken it and then I, I kept giving the same advice that they gave me and it helped them too. A little thing that someone has done for me that made a big difference was when I needed a ride out when I was basically caught in the middle of nowhere, they picked me up so that way I didn't have to walk home. Like driving me around places, like I always feel like I'm putting people out. Um, I mean, people drive me to the beach, to church, you know, it's definitely a big help to me. I guess my mom just, she does a lot of little things like take care of me, so that means a difference. I have to say my dad because he's always been there for me and well, just taking care of me ever since I was young and helping me out with anything I've ever needed and being just a great father. I actually have a daughter, so like the little like help that I get from my friends and family, it helps like a lot to get through school, to get through work and everything like that. Well, I think everything, everybody's always really kind to me and, and they help me out with everybody, with everything and if they wouldn't, I wouldn't be here right now, especially my parents. Well, I play soccer and I really sucked at it at first, but then my one friend that's a senior helped me out with it because I was a goalie and she was a goalie and really good at it. So she helped me out for one day and I ended up being really good at it. In school, one of the sixth graders were getting picked on because he had kind of like messed up legs and the people would always drop his books and make him run after him and I put an end to it. Little things that people have done for me, like just friendship in general, that's been a big thing for me like the people I chose to be my friends and like helped me out like in the long run like when I had tough times and they were there for me like those little things really helped me. I guess just having my friends around and like they'll stop me from doing something stupid. In the Gospel of Mark chapter 15 we read about Simon of Cyrene carrying the cross for Jesus. Simon couldn't completely take on the Lord's burden but he could lighten it for a little while. As Christians we are called to take care of one another. We can show kindness to a friend by praying for them or sending them an encouraging text message. So can you guys think of a time when somebody did something for you that made a really big difference in your life? 